Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing kind of a chatty get ready with me video. I went on Twitter and I asked if you guys had any questions just because I like to kind of dedicate a video once every couple months to just catch you guys up and let you know how I'm doing, what I'm up to, and to just answer any of your guys' questions that you have, especially now that my life is kind of flip-flopped a little bit. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it into it i said that weird okay so let's get into the makeup i'm probably going to be talking a lot so if i forget to say a product i'm going to list everything down below so just head on down to the description box if you're wondering about products okay so i'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows i have been using the hourglass arch brow sculpting pencil in the color blonde but i think i'm going to switch to the color ash because blonde is a little bit warm toned and I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I mean, I've been using it for a while and I don't know. I think I just need to switch it up, but today I'm going to be using blonde. So before I get into the questions, I just kind of wanted to address where I'm at with like YouTube and how I feel about making videos and Instagram and just social media in general, because on my last video, my first impressions video, there was one of my subscribers said that she just doesn't feel like I'm happy anymore in my videos and like if I'm not happy doing it then what's the point of continuing to do it if I have another job which I completely understand where she's coming from I can understand how you guys would probably see that but honestly I still love making videos and in that last first impressions video I didn't really get the sense of me being unhappy because I wasn't when I was making that video I mean I don't I don't remember being unhappy when I was making that video. I think it's just because I am such a quiet person. I have a hard time kind of like screaming out how I feel. And everyone in my life has told me this, that I'm a little bit hard to read just because I don't outright tell people like what I'm feeling, which I feel like as a majority of people, a lot of people keep things inside. I still love making videos and I'm still planning on making videos as much as I can. Um, it's just that I work five days a week right now and for me personally like I know some people are different some people love Working like every single day and they they don't want to stop working But I need a couple days off a week to just do nothing and to hang out with my friends and to hang out with my family because I need my work life to be separate from my personal life and so if I'm spending those couple days off that I have filming and editing then it's basically like I'm working my whole life and that's just not possible and I do a lot of things with my friends and a lot of things with my family so it's just not realistic for me to make a couple videos a week so right now I'm doing my best and I know that you guys know that and so thank you for being so like patient with me but I just want you guys to know that I am happy with what I'm doing I'm happy with making videos I still love making videos it's kind of like a nice break away from my other job just playing with makeup and not being with clients and not being with my coworkers. it's kind of nice just being by myself and doing my own thing which this used to be my main job and this used to be the only thing that i did was just stay home and make videos and it kind of got depressing after a while just doing this by myself so i like that i have both worlds where I can work by myself and also work with a bunch of coworkers and work with clients and have a separate job from this. So just know that I am going to continue making videos, but it's going to be at the same pace that it has been going at, like once a week, once every two weeks. And I'm sorry if that makes some of you mad, but that's the best that I can do. So thank you to those of you who are very supportive with what I'm doing. And I kind of just wanted to talk about this really quick about like Instagram and losing followers and I've talked about this before I have been losing followers on Instagram for the past probably like year and a half I've been consistently losing followers on Instagram and for a long time I thought that I was the only one um, and for a long time it really really affected me when this was my only job it really really like brought me down made me sad and it stressed me out a lot and that's one of the main reasons that I started looking for a new job was because I started panicking and I didn't know how long I was going to last on social media just because I am a smaller channel and I'm not super loud and super charismatic in my videos and I don't make like dramatic videos and stuff like that like I kind of just stay true to makeup tutorials and I've never really had the desire to do anything else so it made me very very nervous 
to just have YouTube as a job, which is the main reason that I started looking for a new job. But for a long time, I thought I was the only one losing followers. And recently I've been seeing a lot of other people have been dealing with the same thing for a long time, especially on Instagram. They've been losing a ton of followers and not knowing why, like they're doing the same thing. They're posting just as much. They're posting more. They're, they're being more interactive with their followers. So they're very like clueless as to why they're losing followers. And this is happening to pretty much everyone who is not at the very top, if that makes sense, who is not, who doesn't have like five plus million followers. Anyone below that is kind of like starting to lose their followers. For example, I was up at like 989,000 on Instagram followers. And now I'm down to 925,000 followers and I lose about a thousand followers every couple weeks. And so at first it really tore me apart. Like it seriously tore me apart. It made me feel like I wasn't good enough, but now I don't really care as much because I know that the people who actually care about my videos are still gonna follow me. It's been happening to a lot of other people, which makes me wonder like, is Instagram doing something? Is something happening with social media with influencers are they trying to push us out are they trying to do something like sneaky with the algorithm because the algorithm changed like what two years ago from chronological to what your most viewed followers are i don't know it's just very interesting to see what is going on i've heard from other people that instagram is like trying to push influencers out they're trying to stop the whole sponsored content on instagram because we're making money off of their app, but they're not making any money from us. So I'm curious to see what's gonna happen in the next year or so, maybe less than that. Who knows what's gonna happen? I just hope that nothing drastic happens because so many people have jobs on social media and so many people live off of social media. So I just really, really hope that nothing bad happens. By the way, I'm using the Cover FX Power Play Concealer in the color Light. Why is it that I can get other people's eyebrows perfect in no time, but I have such a hard time with my own? Okay, we're just gonna call that one good. Okay, and then covering my lids with that concealer. Okay, so starting to get into some questions on Twitter. So the first question is from Ivy and they say, did you have any family members that were initially against you going to beauty school and not college? I'm in beauty school right now and I feel like some of my family sees me as a disappointment. When I first went to beauty school, well, when I decided to go to beauty school, my family was very supportive. My mom went to beauty school, my aunt went to beauty school, two of my cousins went to beauty school. So we have, or actually two of my aunts went to beauty school. So we have a big family of hairdressers and just people involved in the beauty community. I think that it was just normal for me to go to beauty school in my family, like it's kind of the normal thing to do. And I initially thought going into beauty school that I was gonna end up as a hairstylist because that was what, you know, the most logical and normal thing was to do when you went to beauty school. Um, and then I'm gonna set my lids with the Noble Cosmetics Close-Up Baking Powder. So my family wasn't disappointed. It was when I started doing YouTube, they weren't disappointed. They were just very nervous. They were like, not sure if I should just only do YouTube. They wanted me to start looking for jobs as a hairdresser at first. Well, they never really outright said that, but my mom did have like a short talk with me saying, I don't know if like, just focusing on YouTube right now is the best idea because none of us really knew what it could turn into. None of us really knew that it would be a full-time job for me for the four years that I did it, four or five years that I did it. Um, and I'm still doing it, just it's not my full-time job anymore. And when it was my full-time job, I made great money from it. I think once they started seeing that I was making good money from it, they weren't nervous anymore. So my advice to you is to just keep doing what you're doing, keep going to beauty school, do what you love, prove to your family that it is possible to have a great job as a hairdresser or 
a nail tech or an esthetician, whatever you wanna do, it's possible to have an amazing job in any of those fields. So don't even worry about it, like just finish beauty school and show your family that it is possible. Okay, and then for eyeshadow in my last video, I used LA Girl eyeshadow palettes and they didn't work out for me and I've been using a lot of drugstore palettes in my last videos and I have been getting like horrible results from them. I don't know, like if I'm doing bad or if the eyeshadows are bad, whatever. So I'm gonna go with a nice expensive palette today. I'm gonna try out the Natasha Denona Neutral Biba palette, Biba palette, however you say that. And I think I'm gonna stick with matte shadows today. So I'm gonna start with the color Freckle right here and just sweep that into my crease. Next question is from Livin HA. I don't know if I said that right. Um, she says, what was your second study option if you didn't go to, be didn't go to beauty school? Um, I don't really know. I just automatically thought of beauty school when we were thinking of what we should do as a career, just because that was my one interest was makeup and hair. Like that was the one thing that I was really, really good at. But I think if I didn't go into anything beauty related, I've always loved children and like babysitting and stuff like that. So I've thought about being like an elementary school teacher or just being a full-time nanny. Um, that has definitely been something I've thought about in the past, but I don't know. I don't think I would really be happy doing that anymore now where my life is. Like I, I just don't really, I couldn't see myself doing that. So I don't know what I would do if I didn't do anything in the beauty industry, just because that's like the one thing that I'm like good at. It's just the one thing that I specialize in. Do you guys see this red mark on my face? It's like a tiny little blood blister and it just showed up like two days ago. I don't know if I should go to the dermatologist for it or what, or if it's just like a sunspot, but it's like, oh my God, I'm only 23. Am I already getting age spots? What is happening? But yeah. I don't know. That question always stumps me. I don't really know I'm sure I would figure it out if um, the situation came up. I just, I have a lot of friends that have gone into nursing. I don't really, I couldn't see myself doing that because I'm not good with like medical stuff. And like, I do deal with blood with my job right now, but it is nothing like terrible. And I'm not, I've never really been queasy with blood, but it's like other things. Like some of the stories that my friends have told me what they've had to do in their jobs. I just don't, I don't think I could do it. I did think of being a flight attendant for a while because I thought going around and traveling a bunch would be really fun, which I still think that would be really fun. And the schooling for flight attendant school isn't that long. So it was definitely something that was on my list of interests before I started thinking of beauty school. Next, I'm going in with this color called Pasha. Pasha. Oh, this is so much more enjoyable with a good palette. Okay, and I honestly think that's all I'm gonna do right now. Just kind of want to keep it simple and matte. Um, so for my brow bone for highlight, I'm gonna go in, since that palette doesn't really have a light enough highlighting color for me, I'm gonna go in with the Nabla Cosmetics highlighter in Wave. With a little pencil brush, I'm going to put that just on my brow bone. Okay, now I'm gonna do a winged eyeliner. I'm using the Ofra Verified Liquid Liner in Verified Black. Honestly, not the best eyeliner. They have the best highlights and liquid lipsticks, but they just can't really nail anything else. Which is really mean to say, but it's true. Okay, and then for mascara, I'm gonna do the Nautilus Cosmetics Major Pleasure Mascara. Okay, and then I'm going to quickly pop on some lashes. These are the Ardell Double Wispy Lashes 113. blah de blah, blah I'll be right back. Okay, eyes are pretty much done. So now starting with the face, I'm gonna take the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Primer. Go ahead and put that all over my face. 
Okay, and then for foundation, I'm gonna use the Born This Way, Too Faced Born This Way foundation, and this is in the shade Almond. Almond. Next question is from Nisa, and she says, do you like being tall or would you rather be shorter? So when I was first getting to be really tall, I was actually dating my first boyfriend and he was, I don't exactly know how tall he is, but we were about the same height when we started dating and I started growing taller than him and we weren't serious at all. We only dated a, a few months and I really did not like that. I did not like being taller than him and just at the time I didn't like it because it made me feel really like standout-ish and it was during my really awkward phase. I was a sophomore in high school. I didn't want people like looking at me and the fact that I was taller than my boyfriend kind of made me like really insecure. And so I started slouching so much and I got into a really, really bad habit of slouching. And so I have had horrible posture for a really long time and I am trying to break that so hard right now, but that's a totally different story. Um, so back when I was younger, around that time when I first started getting really tall, I hated it. I hated being tall. I felt so awkward, like at school dances, I would be taller than the rest of my girlfriends and it was just kind of an awkward phase for me and I just really, really didn't like it. But now I love being tall. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Sometimes I see really short girls wearing like super cute outfits that I don't think I could pull off. And that's pretty much the only time where I think, oh, it would be really nice to be short so I could pull off outfits like that or wear really tall heels. But honestly, I love being tall. I think it makes me different. And I don't know, there's a lot of advantages to being tall. Um, one of the disadvantages though is with guys, I am more attracted to taller, like really tall guys, which I'm sure a lot of girls are attracted to tall guys, even if they aren't tall. But that's like kind of the main thing that I look for in a guy is height, which is bad and which I shouldn't do that. Um, because if I met a guy that I really, really liked and he was like my height, I wouldn't mind. But there, I just don't know if I could date a guy shorter than me again because it makes me feel like a giant and it makes me feel so large. I shouldn't say that now because what if I meet a guy who's a little bit shorter than me and I like fall in love with him, that very much could happen. But like right now, that's a huge disadvantage for me is because I like taller guys. And really tall guys don't come by very often. So that is a disadvantage, but I love being tall. I think, like I said, it makes me a little bit unique. It makes me different. Okay, and then I'm gonna bake my face with some of that Nabla Cosmetics powder. Oh, and before I forget, I wanted to talk about the new show that I'm watching. Well, it's not new, it's new to me though. Um, I finally bought HBO on my TV and I'm watching Game of Thrones. And I started not that long ago and I'm already on season three, so I'm binge watching it very hard. Um, it is so good. I did not expect to like it that much. It's very, just different from any show that I have watched before. It's very graphic, it's very bloody. So if you are sensitive to that kind of stuff, that's not really the show for you. But the storylines are so good, the characters are so good. I'm so invested in it and all day at work, I just wanna go home and watch Game of Thrones. It's really lame, but I'm really liking the show. And if you guys haven't watched it, you should definitely consider it because it's a very, very good show. I'm a little nervous to get to the last season though, the last episode, because apparently I pissed a bunch of people off. Please no spoilers in my comment section or I'm going to be very pissed. But I'm a little bit nervous to watch the very last episode because a lot of people had a lot of bad things to say about it. But I mean, so far it's, it's going great. Okay, and then for bronzer, I'm using the Take the take Home the Bronzer in Oscar by The Bomb. And a couple people, and a few people actually tweeted me 
what are some good things to do while visiting Oregon or what are my favorite things to do in Oregon and I'm gonna be basic and go ahead and say going on hikes because Oregon has some really, really amazing hikes. I just did Silver Falls with my friends and it was really cool because that one you get to walk under a waterfall. And then a couple weekends ago, we just did, I think it's called Sabo Mountain, where it's an overlook of the gorge. Really any hike in the gorge is beautiful. Um, so if you visit Oregon, I would really, really recommend doing a hike, especially in the gorge. It's just very, it's so crazy to see that much land because you get to go to the top of a mountain and see a huge river and like all these other mountains and trees and stuff and it's really beautiful so i would have to say hiking and me and my friends are making it a goal to make hiking our priority this summer because we always say we're going to but we never end up doing it okay and then for blush i'm using the bomb beach blush by the bomb And then for highlight, we're just using that Nabla Cosmetics Wave Highlighter. Okay, and then to set my face, I'm using the CoverFX High Performance Setting Spray. Okay, and then to finish off the eyes, we're gonna take that crease color freckle again on a pencil brush and I'm just gonna put that right under my lash line. And then put some mascara on my lower lash line. Of course, of course. Just why, you know? Just why? Do these things happen to me? And then for lipstick slash lip gloss, I'm gonna be using the NYX Butter Gloss in Fortune Cookie, which is just uh, all around really great lip gloss, honestly. I love it. Honestly, should I just keep it there? Like, it's, that's awesome. That's so great. We're just gonna, we're just gonna blend it right in there. We're just gonna really get it in there. Okay, we're just gonna pretend that we can't see that just like smudged into my makeup. Ooh. Okay, everyone, that is it for this makeup video slash get ready with me slash Q&A. I really hope that you guys enjoy these videos because I enjoy making chatty videos. I enjoy talking to you guys and catching you up with everything. So I really hope that you like these as well. What am I saying? Anyways, I'm going to wrap up this video because I feel like it's probably really long. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I will catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.